Welcome back to the European Table Tennis Union Men's Champions League semi-final. What a thriller we have on our hands here. Borussia Dusseldorf pushed all the way by Neu Ulm. And now for the first time in history, we'll have a golden match to decide this. Three potential matches ahead of us. Best of three though, if one of these teams takes the first two of these special one set matches, that will be that and they will be in the final of the Champions League where they will meet Saarbrücken Table Tennis Club who overcame past S. Van Mulhausen just now in Saarbrücken. Brilliant performance. To be fair from both teams, past S. Van Mulhausen pushing Saarbrücken all the way but not able to turn around their loss in the first leg and change things up in the second. Warm-ups going on right now between Anton Celbere and Tomokatsu Harimoto. It will be a one-set special for each of these players. Not much time to put a foot wrong. <laughs> Applause around the arena in Düsseldorf. They will be backing Anton Celbere, the Swede, to get through and give Dusseldorf one foot in the Champions League final against Tomokatsu Harimoto of Neu Ulm. Off the net and away and Harimoto means business already. Great big shout for the world number four from Japan. Long from Harimoto that time, and listen to the cheers. Chelberry getting back into this. There's unfinished business for Tomokatsu Harimoto here as well, who lost in a fifth set in the first leg of this encounter. Oh, the standard's so high. Early doors here. You can absolutely see it, you can feel it electricity in the air as both of these teams play for a place in the men's Champions League final Harimoto forced all the way backwards until his footwork failed eventually Chilberry too good 2-1 off the net and away for 3-1 Chilberry Harimoto catching the back of the table. The world junior singles champion from 2016. Team champion in that year as well. Bronze medalist at the Tokyo Olympics in the team event. He is not giving up on this one quickly. Big point here and it goes the way of Chelbere. Really high quality table tennis. Both of these teams, they'll know that they'll have a great chance to win against Saarbrücken. As good as Saarbrücken are, the level of this semi-final so high, the winner here could well be the favourite. Long with the backhand flick from Tomokatsu Harimoto. Dusseldorf edging closer. Amazing, really, that we find ourselves here at this golden match stage, but Chelberry still looking unflappable. Yeah. Into the net from Harimoto. 6-2 now. Anton Chelberry in the red of Borussia Dusseldorf. What a level of consistency that the 25-year-old Swede has found for Borussia Dusseldorf. Harimoto claims a really important one there. Opened up on the forehand. Chilberry got his racket on it. Oh, 
Holy Molto still up against it here for Neu Ulm at 3 6. Oh, it's just simply swept away by Anton Celebri. Leans in, took the offensive option, just drove it away across at the angle. Big one again. Harimoto is hanging on in there at 7-4 down. He'll try and just stay in here as long as possible. Is Chelmbury beatable though? Still a big question mark. Harimoto claims that one. No celebrations this time because that was on the racket of Chelmbury. Anton Celebri of Borussia Dusseldorf just missing it as he went down the line. Wound up the forehand. Tried to just go for the speed loop. Hummel it down the line, but just missed. And now Harimoto, to some extent, back in this at 5-7. Needed that one, Harimoto, and got it. Young Japanese player not giving up on anything here. Remember, Chelmeri beat him in the tiebreaker in the first leg of this semi final. Harimoto wants revenge. Oh, a tentative rally. Both players displaying good touch. Slower rally with different pacing and is left to Anton Chelberry to take the first attack and opened it up, turned on the fireworks when he needed them. Just feel like Chelberry has always managed to keep his nose ahead. That could be important. Great angle from Harimoto, but it's still not enough. Tomokatsu Harimoto stood back there and just looked at the table and thought, what more do I have to do to get past Anton Chelberry right now? Backhand flick with great angle from Harimoto, but Chelbury had the answer. 9-6 now. Long from Chelbury. Harimoto again, clenching his fist. Still hanging around in the first set of this golden game to decide who will be off to the European Table Tennis Union Men's Champions League final. Harimoto needed that one and he got it. Still lingering at 8 9. Tomokatsu Harimoto. This is a one set game, remember. This one will be decided very shortly. We didn't think we'd get here after four hours plus of table tennis. Mistake drawn from Anton Chelberry. Harimoto with the deep serve bounced it up towards the body of Harimoto of Chelberry rather Harimoto took a risky option Chelberry wasn't expecting it and now for the first time in a long time Harimoto is back level who's going to have the first game point amazing drama here in Dusseldorf Harimoto into the net Chelberry will have the first chance to put his team ahead at the very end of this thrilling, unpredictable semi-final second leg. Neuholm won the first leg 3-2. Dusseldorf took the second leg 3-2. We're going the distance with this golden game. Unbelievable defence from Harimoto there. It looked as though Chelbury had won it and Hanimoto caught the corner. Brilliant defensive play from the Neu Ulm player. Backs against the wall for Neu Ulm and Tomokatsu Hanimoto. And he came up with the shot when it mattered the most. All about the defence there of Hanimoto. And it's long from Chelbury. The match swings towards Harimoto 
first game point now for Noi Ulm and Harimoto. This is a high pressure moment indeed for Chelbele. Harimoto survived one. Can the man in red do the same? He can! Harimoto's forehand was well placed. Just the tiniest bit of tension. He didn't want to give it everything and take the risk of hitting it long. And so he dropped it just enough into the court with room for Chelbury to get it back on the counter. So dramatic. Some can hardly watch. What a rally. Another incredibly high quality rally. Harimoto battling away. But Chelbury outlasts him on that point. And now a game point with the serve in hand for the Swede Anton Chelbury in the colours of Borussia Dusseldorf. Yeah. Risky from Hanimoto. He sinks to his knees. He's down on his haunches because he knows that was a thriller. Anton Chelbury knows it as well. Really, it's the scoreline and it's the game that this matchup deserved because it's been such high quality table tennis and the results have been decided by the finest of margins. Chelbury soaks up the applause of the Dusseldorf crowd. He's come through 13 11. And when a game like this goes to a golden match, you know there's a reason for it when the first of those ends 13-11 with both players having had a game point to win it it is clear enough to everybody that this is so finely poised here absolutely fantastic action next up it'll be Dong Chu against Truls Muragord Dong Chu's had a good day today but Muragard's generally a very very strong player Still anybody's guess as to who will actually come out on top of this semi-final. Leg three, you are reading that right. We've never had one before, but after such a closely matched leg one and two, this is what it takes to decide this unbelievable semi-final between Borussia Dusseldorf and Neu Ulm. Whatever happens now, Massive credit must go to Neu Ulm, who were rank outsiders coming into this semi-final. Many thought Borussia Dusseldorf would be able to win in Neu Ulm, win again in Dusseldorf, secure safe passage through to the men's Champions League finals. It's been anything but that. They've been tested all the way. But they do have their noses in front once again, thanks to the brilliance of Anton Schelberg. Hard to criticise Tomokatsu Harimoto, a 19-year-old from Japan, gave it everything. But Chelbury at the moment in these semi-finals, it's just been so, so difficult to beat. Always seems to have the answers just when he needs them the most, Anton Chelbury. And now he has to leave it to his teammate, Dang Chu. Charles Muragards, world number six, must win against world number 11, Dong Chu. Dong Chu, rare pen hold player as a European. Pushes that one away on the forehand brilliantly. Listen to the roar from the crowd in Dusseldorf as Dang Chu takes the first point. 2022 European champion in singles. Controversial call here. Dang Chu wants this retaken. And he's saying it should be his point. The judges agree. 
Odegaard has to right himself mentally after that counter from Dang Chu. Perfectly executed. Odegaard needs a reset and needs it even quicker now. For love for Dang Chu and Düsseldorf. It's not looking good for Neu Ulm right now in this golden match. Dang Chu, who won those European Championships with a victory against Darko Jorgic. He might have a chance to rekindle that rivalry in the final of the Champions League because Darko Jorgic has just secured passage for his team. Saarbrücken, they're on their way to the final. Right now, it looks as though Borussia Dusseldorf will be joining them. Dong Chu, unstoppable at the moment. Well, the commentators curse there. Apologies to Borussia Dusseldorf fans and to Dong Chu. Charles Muragard did perhaps need a bit of luck. The 20 year old has not quite got his head screwed on in this golden match right now. Having won the first one, Borussia Düsseldorf only need this one. Muragard 6-2 down. Dong Chu looking strong. Yeah. Dong Chu finding the right lengths again. Able to wind up the forehand loop. Just doesn't look like he's going to miss the table at the moment. Trotz Moragard mixing it up that time and having success as well. 3-7 now. Still under all kinds of pressure. But it was a clever shot. Mixing up a variation of the angles well from Moragard. Needs to do some more of that. And does it again as well. Opened up the table brilliantly. Dan Chu did nothing wrong really. But Moragard had it where he wanted it. Still had a difficult execution to make on the backhand. But he managed it. 4-7. He's hanging on there now. Oh, so much spin on the shot from Muragard. Coming back like a freight train into this. He's found a bit of momentum. He's got up ahead of steam behind him now, Trolls Muragard. Suddenly, despite the crowd being right behind Dang Chu, the pressure's on. Let called. Still 7-5, Dung Chu serving for Borussia Düsseldorf. Oh, turning defence into attack, Trulz Muragard, the 20-year-old Swede. 2021 World Championship silver medalist. Twice a European Championship team bronze medalist. Now he's drawing on the experience that he's got. He's only 20. Nevertheless, he's got trophies in his cabinet for a reason. But so has that man, Dung Chu. A man from Nürtingen. He's been inside the world's top 10, Dung Chu. Just outside it right now. But he's got some serious pedigree and he's in a good position here. Muragard, perhaps in a better position than he thought he'd find himself in earlier on in this golden match. 7-8. Muragard serving to level up. He needs to get this, you feel. It's anybody's game at eight all. But it isn't eight all, crucially for Borussia Düsseldorf. It's nine seven with Dong Chu. He's got the serves on his racket and the chance to take Düsseldorf to the final. Gripping stuff this in Düsseldorf. Oh, the length of the first shot was just right from Muragard. Defensive shot pushed all the way back to the back of the table, right into the body of Dung Chu. But he dealt with it. And Dusseldorf are one point away from sealing the golden match and winning this semi-final. Dang Chu needs a reset. Muragard needs the point. Oh. 
Beauregard holds on for now. It's round the back of Dang Chu. The crowd trying everything they can to push Dusseldorf over the line. They're still in the driving seat right now. Borussia Dusseldorf, the German record champions, the record Champions League winners as well. It'll be another final for Borussia Dusseldorf. Dang Chu wins it. Truls Muragard is beaten. Timo Ball over to celebrate. Well, what on earth have we just witnessed here? An unbelievably high quality semi final. You've got to spare a thought for Neu Ulm. They could not have done anything more. I felt that in the other semi final, Mulhausen put up a great fight against Saarbrücken, but that was nothing compared to the fight that Neu Ulm brought to Borussia Dusseldorf today and over the two legs. A magnificent effort from Dmitry Mazanov's Neu Ulm team. Uh, they've fallen short in the golden match, the unprecedented golden match. It's Borussia Dusseldorf who've sealed it. Anton Shelbury winning 13-11 against Tomokatsu Harimoto and Dang Chu getting over the line against Trulz Muragard as well. Borussia Dusseldorf, the record champions, seven-time winners of the Champions League, three times runners-up. One of those statistics will improve because they're back in the final again. Borussia Dusseldorf will take on Saarbrücken once more. Thanks very much for joining us for this incredible golden match at the end of the ETTU Men's Champions League semi-final second leg. Eventually, after that breathtaking action, edge of the seat stuff, Borussia Dusseldorf have sealed it in the golden match against Neu Ulm. Thanks a lot for joining us. Do join us again for the ETTU Men's Champions League final, which will be, we can confirm, between Saarbrücken and Borussia Dusseldorf. Goodbye from me. So, hold on, I'm going to